I would like to welcome once again Professor Bina Bansalji from IIT Kanpur. She is uh, Associate Professor from Department of Industrial and Management Engineering at IIT Kanpur. In this keynote, she will share about her experience of conducting the course. Um, thank you so much, uh, Rajivji, for, for those warm words. Uh, I'm delighted and honored to be here and sharing my uh, experience of teaching this course, which was titled Universal Human Values and Professional Ethics at IIT Kanpur during the summer term of academic year 22-23. So a total of 76 students registered and 60, uh, uh, 13 were PG students and 63 were undergraduate students. We had total 40 contact hours, six hours a week, three sessions in a week. Mr. Dr. Kumar Gaurav was my co-instructor and Mr. Manuranjan and Chandan Pandit were uh, helping us conduct the course. So uh, I got this course approved at IIT Kanpur two years ago, but I was not ready to teach the course. I thought that I did not have the merit or patrata to teach this course. Uh, for this year, somehow I felt ready and I could see my participation clearly. So I uh, offered this course and I started the class telling the students that I'm co-explorer. So it's not that I'm able to live according to what we are going to discuss in this course, but I'm making a sincere effort to live with the human consciousness. So the course uh, had uh, four, five components. One was uh, mid-semester exam, one was end-semester exam, and uh, there was a project, so, and there were some homeworks and some quizzes. So the mid-semester exam and end-semester exams are open book exam. That means the students could bring whatever material they wished in print form to the examination hall. No uh, electronic media was allowed. They were not allowed to carry any laptop or mobile phones. Uh, the exam had two components. One was multiple choice questions and the part B was subjective uh, answer questions. Uh, part A was the focus or the objective of uh, multiple choice questions was to uh, help students pay attention to what was taught in the class. Uh, but part B, part B focused on applying the concepts. So the idea was that whatever we had discussed through the semester, the students should be able to apply that and uh, answer the questions. So here are some sa uh, sample questions from the question paper. These are some, are, some of these questions are from mid-sem exams and some of these are from the end semester exams. So this is a very old story from uh, Tolstoy. And there was one student in the class, incidentally, whose name is also Tolstoy. So that was such an interesting coincidence. But anyway, so this story is that the man uh, is buying some land and the offer is that he starts from a point and then he walks around and he has to come back to the same point where he started before sunset. And if he's not able to come back to the same point, then he does not get anything. So this guy uh, walks, but he does is not able to come back to the starting point. So uh, students were supposed to analyze this story based on beliefs, preconditioning, and natural acceptance, as well as on the basis of coexistence of the body and the self. So students, you know, uh, could uh, see. Uh, could use all the concepts that they learned in the course and answer these questions. There was another uh, question where there was a couple session and this is a story somebody narrated to me. So the counselor asked each couple to hold hands and then start the session. After 15 minutes, he found that only 10% couples were holding hands. And he concluded that people who are not holding hands, their relationship is not good. So uh, through this question, uh, the students, uh, you know, are supposed to 
understand the feeling and expression of feeling separate the two the body and the self one involves body and then other one does not so also one cannot be replaced by other so this is one of the preconditioning that we will live with expression is equal to feeling so this is how the question the question was uh, this uh, third story i took from uh, sudha murthy's book so this uh, there's one man who comes to uh, their family one boy not man uh, and he is looking for shelter so they take him into their house and they nurture him guide him and uh, he eventually grows a confident man and he leaves their house as an adult and he becomes a priest in a nearby village of a temple and he has a family eventually his grandson uh, makes it into one of the iits i think it was iit madras and they needed some financial support so grandfather brings a grandson to sudha murthy's office and she happily gives them a loan which was supposed to be returned but the grandson became very successful but never returned the loan grandfather eventually passed away but this grandson did not return the uh, loan so the question was that why did it happen and what can we do so that such situations do not happen so one thing that we uh, we talk about in this course is that need of education sanskar so just because the grandson was had sanskar right understanding does not mean that it will automatically transfer to the grand to the grandson uh, fourth question uh, is from from the exam a proposal is that labor is better than exercise and uh, this question really surprised me the answer to this question most of the people in the class who answered this question thought that labor is equal to construction work so the very definition of shram or labor has disappeared from the scenario and on the campus i realized that there is no uh, no way a student can actually do labor so they, we have yoga places we have uh, you know all these gym and all these sports facilities but there is no way a student can uh, you know do some farming or do some cooking or no, none of those simple things or even cleaning so none of that is available so that was really sad for me to find out right so the first question is again from uh, sudha murthy's book so a lady was uh, telling another lady that my daughter is quite useless i want her to work somewhere but i don't know how would employ her so the the question follow up questions were that if you were to communicate the same information with right feelings how would that be done and also uh, you know is this feeling the feelings that are being expressed here acceptable to you so i was very pleasantly surprised that some students understand that the mother is actually concerned about the doctor about the daughter so she does care but the guidance part or the feelings part right feelings or the respect part is missing so they could see both feelings and that was very nice okay so then the projects that we had were conceived uh in two ways one was uh, some students said something or the other in the class while we were discussing some concepts and some projects uh, just uh, took birth from there so one example abhiraj who is sitting with me right now and who will share his uh, uh, uh feedback on this project and the course in general he would always say that cheating uh, only weak students cheat and i then offered that why don't you i suggested that why don't you then explore this and he two days later he came back or a few days later he came back and said that i was not 100% right actually cheating is more rampant than i thought and this became his uh, project so uh, many such projects were uh, were conceived like uh, in this manner so we had a, a two hour session one day where student uh, wrote their proposals ha just half a page not more than that just half a page writing what they would like to do for example they said 
is right understanding is is right understanding essential for half hungry people to break the cycle of poverty so this was the title and then half page what people they will talk to and what do they uh, what methodology they will uh, use so this is how these projects were uh, conceived so this sixth project which is right understanding is essential for half hungry people uh, so uh, this there were three four students in this group they talked to people who thought they were half hungry so for example the best workers or people who one person may visited uh, banaras in the meantime and talked to this one sanyasi who was sitting at the bank of ganga and then they realized that a lot of problems are because of uh, wrong understanding or preconditioning so one mess worker said that bhaiya i make lot of money but i drink alcohol every day half the money is gone and i occasionally gamble and that is how i am in a situation uh, in a poor financial situation other another person said that i wanted to have a boy no matter what so in the process my family size is now five children and i i'm uh having financial crisis because of that so students were very surprised because they started off saying that you know the first you need to take care of financial needs and then only you can talk to people about uh, uh knowledge or right understanding so some people said that you know uh, is uh, uh prosperity really possible so when we discuss prosperity and then they started talking to people so to begin with they said we are not prosperous then they <coughs> define prosperity for uh, for their audience whether it was their family or some relatives family and then suddenly they realized that you know they actually are prosperous so some families overnight became prosperous uh some students also uh, yeah so the projects were evaluated using uh, poster presentation so it, so they were given about i think 3 weeks to do the project because the entire semester duration was 8 weeks so they uh, once the proposal was approved then they worked collected data wrote a report and not a very long report i said you know just say what really you need to say what is new don't cut paste from the book that doesn't add any value so it was like four to five pages of report then they created a presentation of about eight slides and took a print out of that those slides and we booked a large room uh, in iit kanpur and every group was given one table so they just spread these eight sheets on a table and stood there uh, we three of us we went around and uh, we evaluated seven projects each and we had two hours so we could spend considerable amount of time with each group and students also could go around and look at other projects so this is one of my favorite uh, formats to evaluate projects rather than ask the students to present using a ppt because then everything becomes uh, sequential and kind of uh, difficult to handle when time becomes a constraint here uh, you know other students could also just uh, go around and uh, talk to people and learn about other projects in a very uh, you know amicable environment and there was lot of energy lot of enthusiasm and it was just so much fun we took some photos and we thoroughly enjoyed the entire you know project evaluation process also so now moving on to uh, feedback uh, sharing so uh, i have a student sitting with me his name is abhiraj so the first feedback 4.1 is from from him so i will hand over the mic to him and he will uh, share his experience uh, feedback from this course abhiraj over to you didi namaste sorry to interrupt didi 
Oh, hello. Okay, so thank you, Veena, ma'am. And I am Abhiraj, and I'm a third year undergrad at IIT Kanpur. So I've done a lot of courses. So this course in particular is really unique in the sense that it helped me explore myself. So I was not doing any, you know, I wasn't exploring natural sciences. I wasn't exploring how nature works or how society works. It really helped me explore like how myself and how I work and how I feel and how I function. So in that terms, I think it has become, it has helped me become a much better individual. So I will answer that in four fronts. So firstly in myself. So I think after having created this course, I'm a much more, uh, you know, happy individual and satisfied individual. And I think I understand myself really better. Secondly, I think it has helped me, uh, you know, uh, strengthen my relationships with my friends and families and, uh, you know, solve out whatever disputes I might have had and just understand everything better and provide much better value to my peers, which I want. On a third front, it had helped me become a better member of society. So even from my daily interactions with the mess workers or the industry staff, so I've grown to have a relationship with them and I was able to see them how grateful I am for their service. On a third front, I think I'm much better work in terms of my professional life. Too. It has helped me grow a much better work ethic, provide much better value to my you know, co-workers in the terms of the work we do and so on. On a fourth front, I think it has helped me understand the human existence best better. So let's say on a country front, how uh, I need to contribute to make sure that we develop as a society and as a whole human front on a whole. So I think this course is something which I would really recommend to my peers as a feedback because it really helps you grow. So uh, no matter what sort of skill set you have, or so it simply helps you become a better individual in the sense that it helps you realize your place or uh, in the value chain which you provide. So uh, this is something which I definitely would recommend to my juniors, my peers, and the upcoming batches who would create this course. So uh, about the conduction of the course, I think Veena Ma'am really did a great job in making the course come out alive to us. So uh, I think, uh, right. So I will share a feedback about so we have several uh, negotiations going with on um, about with the administration of IT. So we have some problems in terms of the accommodation. Right now we are not able to sort that out. But I think I work in the student administration. So when I created the course, we were uh, having some negotiation over the accommodation part, uh, and there were some disputes. So we used to go in with the mindset about the meetings that you know, administration is not really trying to help us and they're just trying to uh, shift away the matter. But as I went through the course, I realized that uh, administration really cares about us in terms that they have some constraint. And I think it helped, uh, the course made me realize that uh, in that front, uh, basically we need to be critical to the values the other people are trying to provide us. They might not be able to provide us everything, but they are uh, able to, uh, you know, uh, make, we need to uh, work as a whole to provide the best solution. So I think as a whole, in terms of work ethic too, it had helped me a lot. So should I hand over? You're saying teaching. Hmm. Right, so for the conduction part, I think uh, the way the course was conducted, it really was a conversation. So it was not a typical lecture setting. We were able to converse our own problems in the class. And I think that was really good because we were really able to solve out all our problems during the in-class setting itself. And we were able to you know, create projects around that, discuss around that. And so I think on that front too, the conduction was really good in the sense that it really made us feel at home in the sense that you know, we are uh, truly exploring ourselves and not, you know, some other fields of science. So conduction was really good. And I am really grateful that I was, you know, part of this course. So, right. So I will hand out the mic to my fellow students. So he'll introduce himself.
good afternoon everyone uh, my name is tolstoy dev verma i am a phd student from aerospace engineering uh, i took this course uh, because uh, as as the aerospace engineering courses are very much uh, they are very much uh, knowledge and application based and i wanted a course where i could uh, explore more and study less for example i man course material as you can see uh, it's pretty lengthy but uh, i attended all her classes and i i could say that i could say that uh, and i could say that i hardly studied for one or two hours before the exam um, but i could score uh, uh, good good marks in all those exams because i i really interacted with ma'am in the class and this has helped me a lot um, as an individual i learned about uh, understanding uh, i learned about human ethics and values and as i am a phd student and um, naturally tilted is like uh, becoming a professor in the future and as you can see that uh, professors are little professors are little uh, like uh, the interaction between students and professors are less in the academic field and mostly uh, about uh, about research work Uh, but on the other hand through this course i realized uh, the more we interact with the students or the more the professor interacts with the uh, with with the with the teacher and the gap becomes uh, the gap closes and there is a better uh, better way to look at the research and uh, the exploration is more and and uh, professor vinavan sir ma'am uh, Uh, teased us a lot of topics so one of my favorite topics were was uh, regarding intention and she said our intention is the same but uh, <clears throat> competence is different and we need to acquire this competence and uh, and work on it so i i this was something which i couldn't digest myself that how can our intention be same for example my intention is to become a rich person his intention is to become a billionaire his intention is to be set up a billion dollar company so our intentions are different but on uh, like when she taught us that our intention was to be happy and uh, to give respect and to take respect not to be in conflict with others so this is something which uh, which was an eye opener for me and uh, and i learned a lot from this course and even during projects i did a project on the uh, exploitation of uh, natural resources so this uh, through this uh, project i learned how that um, we are exploiting the nature uh, because of our because of our over demand so a person can be happy with one mobile phones but to, uh, on the but on the other hand you can you can see that uh, because of the growing demand we have uh, more and more phones a person is carrying three phones for example so this is uh, exploiting the nature so how can we create the balance so ma'am also taught us that uh, everything in uh, in the universe is in order for example animals living in the forest and example plants living in the forest and as a whole as a nature they are in exist they are in uh, harmony with each other we can also see deers in the national parks uh, which are roaming around tigers and tigers are not harming them so they are in complete harmony but when we introduce humans in that we create a uh, what is a we create a depletion in the natural resources or over exploitation in the natural resources so this is something which i understood from this course and i really recommend this course to each and everyone in the academic community also share the feedback that you shared that you said no you wanted unlimited money yes so uh, the one one more uh, one more important lesson which uh, ma'am highlighted to uh, highlighted to tell in this uh, presentation is um, for example i used to think that uh, money is not uh, for example a, a quote which i took from somewhere uh, somewhere in instagram or something that money is not god but is also not less than god so uh, this is something which i really live by and but now i feel that up from this course that money is also time so in in our mechanical and aerospace engineering there is a story which goes by like this that a person uh, a person has his car broken down in the middle of the road and he went to a mechanic one mechanic another mechanic third mechanic fourth mechanic he couldn't repair his car but he went to a fifth mechanic 
uh, and he he got his car repaired and he said how much will you charge for for getting this car repaired and he he charged him uh, three times more money uh, than the normal ones and he said why why you have charged me more money than the than the than the fixed rate which is being charged by the mechanics and he said to repair your car i had to study for 20 years so you are not paying me for the for the repairment of your car you are paying me for the time which i have spent to gain that knowledge that how to fix your car if 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 it move if it is like this so this is something which uh, i wanted to share and so the right understanding is necessary to even earn uh, even earn money you need to know how much uh, money uh, you need to you need, how much money is satisfiable for you so this is something which uh, which which uh, i which i saw in in me the reflection of this course understanding uh, human ethics so thank you ma'am for this so you can stay if you want to you can leave if you want to it's up to you all right so that was uh, sharing by uh, two uh, students abhiraj and tolstoy so this uh, 41 4.1 is the feedback from abhiraj and 4.2 and 4.3 these are the feedbacks from other people who were here in the morning in the hindi session so uh, one student shared that uh, you know small small things two minutes he will have a conversation with his parents and that will create a scar on him uh, but now he has been able to fix that problem and uh, he is able to approach his family uh, in a much better manner and those fights and scars have simply disappeared uh, there's another person who was here in the morning she said that she was almost ready to break relationship with one of her friends and she could save her relationship because uh, you know she just called him and said why aren't you responding to my messages oh he said i'm so forgetful and so busy let me do this right away hold on to the phone so uh, there's another girl who said similar uh, who gave similar uh, feedback and tolstoy said in his feedback in the class that before he started the course he wanted unlimited money he is now smiling and nodding you can see him uh, i don't know why my video is not showing <laughs> uh, anyway so uh, he wanted unlimited money but after going to the course he just wants to be a millionaire or billionaire but he has been able to put a cap there was another student he shared his feedback that now he has found the purpose of life that right? purpose is to you know live a harmonious life and understand harmony and he he felt very happy and he is also been able to talk to his family some students shared that now their conversation has gone beyond a uh, transactional uh, conversation with his family with their families and uh, now when they call their families now or their parents mother father uh, they are actually having a real conversation and now the children the girls and the boys they are asking their parents how are you doing rather than just telling their parents how how the students are doing uh okay didi, namas so didi namaste sorry to interrupt didi ji didi there are two hands raised shall we pass mic to them or later no, we, we can have a we'll, yeah, we'll yeah. do after we'll do after the this sunna no? veena ji right right ji yes. ji thank you let ji. me complete the presentation then i'll take the i'll be happy to answer any questions so yeah another thing that i did this uh, is that i gave lot of examples from my own life rather than give examples from uh, you know uh, the history or great people or the incidences that i have heard and not experienced myself and i got this feedback from the students that uh, when i gave examples from my life they could relate to it they said when you hear some people in the history have done something you you don't relate to them you feel like okay they were great and the times were different and you don't relate but uh, when i uh, shared my examples from own life they said that if you can do it we can also do it so i narrated lot of uh, examples and 
uh, not always I was uh, prepared, you know, it just ha started happening naturally. And I started sharing examples from my own life. And uh, yeah, so that is something uh, I wanted everyone to tell you. Uh, everyone one. Okay, so then uh, learning uh, for future, I did have, uh, I did learn few things while uh, conducting this course. So students understood self-control and regulation very clearly, the distinction between the two. They understood when you have a higher goal, right? So for example, you want to have health, you want to be healthy so that you can do what you want to do in your life. You can fulfill your participation. Then maintaining health became very easy. They were self-regulated. So no need to look at do's and don'ts. Uh, some people uh, mentioned that their routine became better and their eating habits became better. So this part they understood very well. But a lot of students had difficulty understood, understanding what actually is natural acceptance and how to make use of natural acceptance. So they will start with some, some desire, but they will not even be able to relate it to basic aspiration. So they had some, you know, vague uh, argument. And then this is not my natural acceptance or this is my natural acceptance. So there wasn't so much of uh, confusion between acceptance and natural acceptance, but there was a lot, lot of confusion be, uh, about how to use natural acceptance uh, to, to lead a better life, to lead a harmonious life. Another feedback that I got was that the sum up at the end of the class was very helpful because then uh, the entire picture uh, becomes clear and then you have some homework, something to reflect on. And then also, so you could just link everything up. But I did not do it very well. But this is the feedback that I got from the students. So we need to pay more attention to this part. Okay, uh, many students uh, told me that, uh, you know, I live, ha I'm happy living alone. But after this course, they suddenly realized that how many people are making it possible for them to live a peaceful life on the campus and how they are related to so many people. And many of these students have now come out and started uh, you know, saying thank you or acknowledging presence of all the people who are supporting uh, them. Uh, so this I have already said, one surprising revelation was that students think that labor is equal to construction work. And we have all these uh, gym and sports facilities, but there's no uh, way for people to do any uh, students to do any physical work or shrub. So this is something that NSS people should take up, you know, go on a, for example, you know, cleaning drive. So we can, uh, you know, cut grass or there's so many things that need to be done on the campus. So this is something we need to do. So some students suggested that I should give more examples and make classes more interesting. Sometimes it gets boring. I, I understand this part that sometimes it gets boring. But I, I was reluctant to take up examples because then what happens, the actual concept becomes secondary and example becomes basis for thinking. And I thought that is not what we want. We want students to be thinking about the concept and then expand it uh, according to him or her rather than base it on the uh, example. So this is something I need to discuss with the Ganeshji and Rajunji and other people and take a call on this. So this course uh, also has helped me, uh, you know, extend my journey or mature. So when I was teaching this course, I listened to uh, videos of Ganeshji. It is a very, very valuable resource. This was recorded in IIT Kanpur. And uh, I mean, listening to him is always like uh, a reward. It's always an honor to be in his uh, company. I, throughout the course, I have uh, approached Rajunji. Uh, and any time I wrote to him, he, his health was not very good at that time. Luckily, he's doing well now. 
but he would respond to me within minutes. Uh, I'm really thankful to him. Uh, Dr. Gaurav Kumar sat through all my sessions. He always arrived and sat in the front row, listened to my uh, session and took notes. And after the session, we would sit together for sometimes one hour and he will tell me, he will give me an honest feedback. And that has helped me a lot. Uh, really, uh, it helped me. It was really like one in one eleven kind of situation. So he also answered all my questions. I'll call him uh, before the class. So this, this was of immense help. He, uh, one phrase I used a couple of times in the initial classes, we all know. He pointed out to me that, what, what does it mean? What do you mean by saying we all know? In this class, we are not telling we all know. We are saying, do we know and do we need to explore? Are we assuming or do we know? So then I understood that, you know, how minutely he is listening to me and pointing out, pointing out. He's, uh, he also told me that you know, students will take you in any direction by, by their questions. You need to bring them back to the topic that you are on. Because if you just spread the class, then the main topic becomes uh, dilute. So this, this is another thing I learned from him. So yes, uh, it has been uh, a very rewarding experience. And Manuranjan was true to his name. Uh, he made, uh, you know, grading uh, the exams really, really enjoyable. Uh, I have a feeling of gratitude for everybody. I also realized that I used to prepare the whole, whole day. The classes were from 4 to 6 in the evening. So I'll get up at around 5.36 and start thinking, start looking at, listening to videos. This is what I did through the day. So while I was doing all this, a lot of questions will come to my mind and I'll pay a lot of attention to my own self and how I've been doing things in the past. And, uh, you know, uh, I would like to say this in Hindi, usse meri apni bhi gati bani. so I also made a lot of progress and there were certain relationships in the family that had gone cold. And one such person, I ran into him and I was not sure how, how I was going to approach him but I just walked up to him and I said Namaskar how are you doing and this person just melted away and said to me oh I have wronged you so many times I have hurt you so many times and I just stood there and I'm looking at this person and saying okay he's still focusing on the impact on me he's still not focusing I really wanted to ask him how were you when you were trying to hurt me or you thought you were hurting me? But I could hold myself back. I knew that, uh, you know, this is not the time. He has taken the first step and I need to hold back and hold myself and wait for the right moment. But I felt very good that I did my part properly. And so many such things have happened. Right, so... Uh, the challenge has been the attendance. Less than 50% students attended the class and I do not know how to deal with the issue. I tried everything that I could in my capacity. Uh, Gaurav and Manuranjan, we all helped the students. Uh, you know, we were always available, but somehow still the attendance were always less than 50%. But I'm happy to uh, uh, share that whoever came to the classes, they were very regular. Uh, they, they found enough reason to come to the class. So overall, it has been a very, very rewarding experience for me to teach this course. Uh, I handled the course as if it was my own course. I really thought that I was not ready, but I, fe I really felt ready. So I just want to end this uh, uh, sharing by uh, telling you a little story. So when my son was young, he used to ask me, can I go to IIT gate on the bicycle? So IIT gate is not like a lot of traffic and congestion. So I would always say no, because IIT campus is a protected uh, environment, no congestion, no major traffic. 
So I always would say no. One day he came back and said, I went to the gate today. So I said, oh, so then you are ready. So this is how I conducted the course. I wasn't ready. Uh, everybody around me was telling me, please offer this course. And I kept saying no. And I felt ready. And when I felt ready, I really conducted this course as if it was my own. Even though none of the content is mine, I'm very grateful to all the people who have created the con content, even including the uh, PPTs. I also edited the book as I felt uh, comfortable. And I was, you know, I had free hand. I edited the eight or nine chapters of the book and shared it with the students. So overall, I've been very fortunate to be uh, to have taught this course and uh, shared uh, this uh, with students and uh, uh, thank you very much and i'll be happy to take any questions uh, yeah before that i would like uh, manuranjan and gaurav who are here who co-taught this course with me to share uh, their feedback <laughs> Vinod, you can uh, stop the sharing of the this slide. Yeah, yeah. No, thank you. And please keep your video on. It's fine to keep your video on. Yeah. Ah, go ahead. Please go ahead. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. So it was a it was a good opportunity and nice opportunity for me to to be in this course, and I myself have learned a lot. Has. Um, Ma'am was telling that I was sitting in the course. Around two hours we were sitting, and then later on we were discussing the things. And I myself realized that there are many things which I was also not very much aware of. Those things became more and more clear. Initially, I was a bit reluctant in sharing the feedback, thinking that and somehow. Ma'am is a very senior teacher and how I can say it. But ma'am opened up so well and she, she was so open that I was very at, at very ease in sharing everything. And slowly and slowly we started not only discussing about the content of the course, rather we were also discussing all the events in our life which are related to all the course curriculum. So in that way, we were able to comprehend better. Like I remember one thing that initially I was telling to ma'am one day I was telling that the examples which you gave give related to your life that does not strike very well to, to me. But slowly and slowly I also realized that you no, know, this thing what she is doing I myself is not when I am taking the classes many times I myself take the examples which I have listened in the other videos or other lectures. But taking the examples from my our own life, that is more convincing to the students. That was a very good lesson that I learned from this course. And slowly and slowly, we became like a family. That was another thing which came out from this course. And along with the course, as Ma'am was telling that, and she was, she has modified the book. She has rewritten many chapters. So that was again a contribution that is that was not very much expected but it was it is also an outcome of this course so many things came up in this course knowingly unknowingly i also learned a lot and i think that now when i will be teaching this course or taking another workshops then i will be using all the learnings that i have got from this course thank you yeah, So, uh, hello everyone. Uh, so, my role was very minimal in the course. It was uh, for grading and evaluation, helping. So, there was a team with uh, all of us which helped in uh, doing this consistent grading and evaluation. Chandan, Roshan, Vimal, and all, uh, all of us were there. So, what was most uh, 
beautiful in the course for me in this uh, evol evaluation and assessment is that we were able to conduct this uh, open book exam means children uh, students have not to come to the class or to the exam with all the rote memorization they can bring all their notebooks books study material so that uh, we are not focusing on what they have remembered what they have studied but are they able to apply what they have studied in their real life or not and are they able to analyze the uh, scenarios in their life so be be uh, so we discuss those questions so i uh, remember one more question which was not discussed in the uh, in the meeting uh, today that uh, there was a example of a student who used to study in iit kanpur and he uh, he used to do lot of networking so he believe in networking building relationship and for that he used to wake up late night do you know the sessions bulla session they used to talk and discuss and not uh, used to believe in hard work and being a skillful and later on in the life uh, he realized that it was better to be a skillful work hard rather than just uh, networking so here also there was the focus on relationship but that was not in the right sense so many students after the exam came to the ma'am and they said ki i really this story this question uh, um, in the exam touched me it felt like i was that uh, that student uh, and i was doing like that so this was really good in that sense that uh, we were able to uh, Uh, have th those uh, questions which can lead them to think about their own life reflect their own life and uh, rather than just uh, rote memorization and uh, coming with that and apart from that uh, when i reflect ki how can we do much uh, better this evaluation so in the uh, in the during the course work we used to give them three assignments written assignment as a homework and uh, so in that uh, uh, we uh, what we can do is uh, apart from that we can assign mentor to these uh, students and we can discuss those written assignments ki from where they are writing that what is the context how much they have understood so that uh, this can be useful for the students also and uh, the other team member who are already there in the institute uh, in the universities because there are a whole lot of team 20 30 people who already go uh, go through the workshop so they can help in and volunteer for this uh, courses so thank you uh, just for information of everybody manoranjan is a phd student at uh, thank you manoranjan and gaurav yeah this idea uh, of manoranjan is a fantastic idea and uh, we will definitely implement it get more people to mentor uh, students during the course yes okay thank you very much yeah veena ji uh, if you can mention about gaurav also gaurav is uh, alumni of iit kanpur yes gaurav is uh, alumni he had got phd from iit kanpur in electrical engineering department and manoranjan presently is a phd student in the department of physics uh, at iit kanpur and he is btech mtech uh, also from iit kanpur okay so now he's been on the okay. campus for some 10 years i think <laughs> yeah and your both your students abhiraj and tolstoy uh, have been nodding and smiling when you were uh, you know sharing about the billionaire millionaire question for example and so yeah, that's that, very nice yeah, to see yeah that is them. what tolstoy said <laughs> <laughs> they are very yeah. uh, engaged in the, uh, right. in the discussion so thank you so much for coming uh, both of you now uh, there might be some questions either for the students or for the uh, for manoranjan or gaurav or for veena ji 
Uh, I would request Veena ji to take the main question, and if you would like to pass it to any of the others, welcome to do that. Sure, sure. Yeah. So first, any any uh, buddy from the panel, if they have any questions, otherwise we'll go to the. Um, uh, to the delegates, uh, attendees, Sona Dixit, Sona Dixit. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes, this is Sona Dixit here. Sona Dixit, tell me. Yes, I am from the Alvag Educational Institute, ma'am. And it was very nice listening to you with the all the live examples that you gave uh, was really interesting. Even in our uh, our institute, we also focus a lot on value education and all our teaching is uh, value-based. And nowadays for the orientation, the students are first going uh, working for two weeks in the fields, in the agricultural fields. So uh, that is how we are uh, tuning them to do labor. Like you said, that labor is difficult to find the students uh, doing labor themselves or working for themselves is very difficult nowadays we don't uh, have such kind of an environment but uh, uh, initially students do uh, feel that uh, uh, why this is uh, why we are doing this and then later on they get so tuned in that they love doing that work and uh, it is actually they should know how to how to grow things because the basic thing that we are doing is for eating and other purposes, agricultural work is very important. And nowadays we are having our orientations as well in which uh, we are, uh, you know, uh, teaching them how to do community support and uh, other things. The core values that we have, simplicity is one of them. So it was very interesting, ma'am, to listen to you. And uh, uh, basically I like the stories which you presented. Uh, to and the questions behind them, they have a very deeper meaning, actually, these stories. And uh, it is wonderful that some students do interpret uh, very qualitatively. And uh, they sometimes they go beyond us also, uh, the beyond the expected answers. And uh, that is what it shows how values are deep rooted in some, you know, in the way the family brings them up and how the how education takes place so it was a wonderful experience ma'am yes so yeah you are right so one one group analyzed movie drishyam and when i looked at their findings they were talking about they looked at the positive aspect of everybody's personality as well as not so positive aspects so for example one person is very strong in providing care but not so much in providing guidance so they looked at both care as well as guidance that this guy is like so strong in providing care, but understands nothing about guidance. Yes. So it was, it was very nice. Actually, a balanced approach is important. Right. That is, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Thank you, Sonaji, for that query. So next, we would like to invite Sunil Bhaiya. Hey, uh, namaste, Abhinav Chalji. My name is Sunil Kumar. I'm also a faculty member who I'm a PhD in civil engineering, but um, I have been undergoing this UHP programs and conduct the classes for my students as well as faculty members for my colleagues. Yeah, so this is very encouraging and inspiring for all of us. Um, we were, uh, uh, way of explanation and uh, conducting the program. One thing which is striking me is that you have been given, giving your own examples from your own life to the students, and they can they are able to connect with the proposals through these life experiences. In fact, I also have several such uh, experiences. Now, uh, what I would like to ask you is, uh, you have prepared the content, rather the placement of the content very well as it is explained in the sharing uh, and the examination also very nicely. The questions are also very interesting. 
it is uh, helping the students to self explore but my question is what is the most challenging part in your preparation you said you have been preparing early morning this also i have uh, listened to but what is the most challenging part in your preparing the content and placing it before the students and for the students um, are they interested to listen to the content from the very beginning or are they uh, got interested in some other point of time what is that uh, level at which they could interested these two questions maybe the second yeah. question can also be answered by some of the students also sure yes sure. Yeah. so the first part you saying what was the challenge the whole uh, course was a challenge in the sense that you know uh, my biggest challenge was that do i have the credentials to discuss this Uh, that was one challenge second challenge that i uh, you know used to wonder every day will the students be receptive will they connect but i am happy to say that uh, the students who started coming to classes none of them dropped off all the students who started coming to the classes they connected and uh, continued to attend classes till till the very end and they also inspired some other students to uh, come and you know attend classes or at least read so but uh, what was the challenges from student perspective since since abhiraj and tolstra is still here uh, i'll ask them to tell us what uh, challenge they had see well, uh, the question was when did they get really interested what was that uh, point at which they got Oh yeah, this is for me. Yeah, so I think personally for me, it went around like this. Initially, I think it felt uh, to put it simply as a ridiculous idea that if I need to self-explore, why do I need to come to class? I would just go on, you know, with my parents or so on. But the course really grabbed my attention when it mentioned when we now mentioned something which I was facing a problem. So I think it was a really holistic course in. Since it covered everything in terms of the problems we were facing, so when we actually heard what was being delivered, uh, what we realized is that uh, the course gave us a structure to you know better solve our problem. So it really grabbed my attention within you know four to five lectures when the structure was actually helping me. So Vina Ma'am's proposal was simple: just listen to me and try to use that structure to solve the problem. If you are able to solve the problem, just come back to class and listen. So I think this very idea uh, in three or four lectures, when it actually solved some of my problem, it really grabbed my attention and you know provided value to me. So I think that exact proposal that just listen to me and try to use the proposals in your real life, it will help, and it did help. So in that sense, it really uh, I think for all of the students helped us you know uh, understand the course better and really grab our attention and get what is interesting. That's true. <coughs> Uh, for me, uh, it was so my takeaway from this course is uh, I got really interested in this course uh, from starting on because the ma'am never ma'am never told us that this is a this is this is the way it is to be done or this is the truth. So ma'am always tells us to verify to verify for ourselves any proposal. For example, like. Uh, Do elders needs to respect? Uh, do uh, youngers needs to respect elders, or the elders needs to res also respect uh, uh, younger? So this is something like uh, which uh, I did not study in any course. So this was something a uh, a new proposal for me. So so it was like verify. Please verify in your uh, in your own relatives whether there is someone whom you who, there is if there is a relative in your uh, Family whom you don't like, but you have to respect. So this is something which which ma'am always told us to verify. So this actually caught me in. This actually dragged me into the course, and uh, I felt really uh, involved in that. And I attended all the all the classes. One of the most advantageous thing in this course is I hardly studied for one or two hours, but I attended all my classes. And uh, and the handouts uh, were pretty lengthy. But I I did not have to read all it through because I attended all her classes and there were many classes where she didn't she didn't even tell us the stories because of time constraint. 
for example, there was this thing which is called as the trust is the foundational value and love is the complete value. So, this is something where stories are missing from Bam's personal life because of the time constraint. So, this I felt like we should more and uh, deeply engage in and listen to Bam, more stories of Bam. So, this is what uh, I felt. Yes. Thank you, Apiraj, and thank you, Tolstoy, for this nice exploration. Do you see that all the proposals are easy to uh, verify, or did you find some of them not very easy to verify? Uh, this uh, switching is a bit of a, of a challenge. So I'll ask okay. them, were yeah. all proposals for easy to verify? No. So this is what I have already shared, that this natural acceptance and uh, experiential validation is something that we need to spend more time on. So, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Didi. Nice. Thank you, Sunil Bhaiya. So, next we would like to hear from Tara Prasanna Bhaiya. Yes. Uh, namaste, Bina ma'am. Namaste to everyone. And, uh, ma'am, it is, you know, very wonderful and nice experience you shared and uh, you know uh, i just have one question for you uh, you have been teaching for quite long time and uh, you know in industrial and management you are an expert so in that point of view can you just clarify you know after teaching a particular course in industrial and you know, management and after teaching this particular course uh, what difference you can see in terms of pros and cons I means like what are the uh, positive side of the things you observe and what are the challenges part of the thing you observe at your own level? Yeah. Thank you. Right. So when I teach a course in, uh, you know, skill building, for example, I can teach a course on uh, applied machine learning or, or programming or data structures, uh, any of those courses. There are substitutes for those courses. One can learn to program or not learn to program. So there is an option. But when I conducted this uh, course, I know that there is no option. Everybody must understand how to live a life in harmony, how to live a fulfilled life. So I felt that, uh, you know, uh, I'm doing something which is, at, if not more important, equally important. And this is a part which is missing from our curriculum and we need to add it. So I felt uh, very happy and especially uh, the feedback that I got from the students and that made it totally uh, worthwhile. And also my own life, my own journey progressed quite a lot. So it, this was just as good, if not better than uh, teaching, uh, you know, technical course. Okay, okay. Very similar experience. In fact, when I teach this particular DHB course, being a co-explorer with the student is a very unique experience. You know, <laughs> nice. Thank you. Thank you. We have, we have, I have met you in Kanpur. <laughs> Just for a few minutes, you have come. Nice to okay. meet you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Nice, Sara Prasanna Bhaiya. Next, we move on to Sumati Didi. Uh, Didi, Namaste. Am I audible, Didi? Yes. You're audible. Yes, Didi. Thank you, Didi. Uh, Veena, ma'am. Namaste. Uh, namaste. Myself, Dr. V. Sumati. I'm Associate Professor in the Department of Mathematics from C. Zairam Engineering College, Chennai, ma'am. And uh, I would uh, like to uh, say that I have recalled my first batch of uh, UHV2 uh, when I took the same uh, course to my students. So very happy to have the experience along with you. And the way you presented as a script form was very informative, madam. And uh, really we got inspired. And uh, the way you have given the chance to the students and they were along with you as a family member. So we are very happy to see this uh, experience, madam. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, madam. Thanks for the opportunity. 
थैंक यू थैंक यू गीता दीदी थैंक यू सुमति दीदी सो डियर को एक्सप्लोर इफ यू वुड लाइक टू इंटरेक्ट विथ वीना दीदी काइंडली रेस योर हैंड यस वी डू हैव जगदीश भैया विद अस जी भैया ओवर टू यू नमस्ते नमस्ते टू ऑल नमस्ते वीना मैडम इट वाज अ वेरी नाइस टू लिसन योर एक्सपीरियंस हैंडलिंग दिस कोर्स एंड द स्टूडेंट शेयरिंग आल्सो मोटिवेटेड ऑल ऑफ अस uh i wish to know uh, what was the challenge of evaluating the sheets because uh, each student has their own precondition uh, for the same question maybe you are getting different answers so what was the challenges and how um, how much it was related to the content so that's what i want i wish to know that right so uh, actually four of us uh, sat down two phd students uh dr gaurav and myself four of us were uh, grading the answer scripts and we uh, one person was uh, grading one question in all the answer scripts so we got to know different take on the questions and you are right the answers were very very different from each other so the what we were looking for is that has the as uh, the student uh, up, understood and applied any of the concepts that we were looking for so uh, it took so there was no model answer you are right it was challenging because there were no model answers and we spent lots and lots of time two full days we spent uh, grading answer scripts but we were okay with it it took lot of effort and we read every word that the student had written uh so uh, you are right it was challenging because there was no model answer and we read every answer and evaluated uh and uh, i don't know if that answers your question yes yes yes, yes. we is, are uh, yeah we are also is. facing similar experience um, students write different answers and um, how much they understood from the proposals uh, that is what we are focused and we also face the same challenge that uh, uh, attendance in the sessions is um, very less uh, yes these are the challenges as taking this course we'll look forward with your all experiences and we'll share the content with the students with feeling of relationship thank you thank you uh, vina ji did you become closer to the students in this whole experience but uh, including the Uh, you know, you said you read every word in the answer script. So, did that bring you closer to the students? Ah, uh, I do not know what you mean by closer. In what sense? Means that you got to know them better, and uh, um, <clears throat> I think I got to th- know them better through the projects. because uh, that's when i really interacted we all of us interacted with students during the project presentations uh, and the feedback session sessions and during the class i have never uh, remembered so many names from my class this is the first time i know so many students by their name where they come from what issues they are facing what their personalities are uh, yes i got to know them and i feel that you know uh, if they ever come down to my office or i run into them uh, in the corridor we will know each other we will feel related to each other for sure uh, thank you veena ji now we would like to hear from girish ji over to you ji thank you ma'am it was a uh, am i audible ji you are audible ji okay girish bhaiya you are audible ah uh, thank you thank you for confirming thank you ma'am for the session actually i have few questions i am also a co explorer like you who is uh, looking to deliver the content to students and also to get these activities done and i was really interested the way you conducted that polls and also the activity based exam mainly the assignments and also the project work Uh, can you just elaborate a bit more on that because how the students were participating and what was their uh, 
what was their role in it because whether it was again guided by you or they took the proposals on their own and took the question and went around and get this carried out and third thing is uh, third thing is actually when the students were doing the project how actually they were interacting with you because uh, they were doing it on their own and they came back to you for your support and you are doing that on a regular basis just to know how these activities get getting conducted thank you sure sure so uh, the first one uh, is that lot of uh, projects were conceived to the questions so for example one student in the class said that teaching is not as uh, prevalent as you think <clears throat> so i mentioned that maybe you need to explore that and that became the project uh, one group uh, so some projects got conceived like this one group said that uh, first we need to take care of physical facilities and then all these right understanding i said why don't you explore that and that became a project but other than that what we did i asked the students to write half a page about the idea that they want to explore and then we dedicated one session to project uh, proposals so we were three of us we looked at six seven proposals uh, and we helped them uh, this uh, make them more concrete and uh, also suggested how they can uh, proceed further and after every class we were available for them to come back and ask us if they need further support some some students did that they came back and said this is what we have been doing and how where do we go from here so this is how the projects progressed so initially they came back some of them came back and asked for more input which we provided but then uh, towards the end they were pretty much on their own and i had made it uh, clear to them that it will be presented as a uh, poster presentation so this is uh, this is how it was uh, done so uh, once they started the project i think most of the groups got very interested in what they were finding out and that kept them going because uh, they started off with the preconditioning for example this group that was finding out half hungry people and right understanding the very first person they talked to he said no i have lot of money but i am half hungry because i do not have right understanding and they said oh how can that be true so you know they just uh, then kept going and this is how i think most of the projects were some students uh, yeah so this this is how it was one student went to banaras and talked to sanyasi and he said what hungry i am not hungry i have right understanding so hunger is not an issue so that they thought you know so this is how i think the projects uh, actually were very successful um thank you ma'am thank you for the sharing and actually you mentioned that uh, one more thing like the attendance was something low like 50% or something like that you mentioned in between but uh, actually was it at the beginning or uh, was it changing like because this was something we need to explore further right because why the students are not getting connected to the content is it mainly because of the understanding of the proposal or is it mainly because of the examples that they are not able to connect can you just uh, clarify that part so uh, the some of the students are just not in habit of attending classes so i know at least of one student who read the entire book and utilized this and resolved her differences with her best friend she was not she had stopped talking to her for some time and she never attended a class i think she might have come for one or two classes but she read the entire book she called picked up the phone called her friend resolved all the differences restored her friendship so i think some students uh, are much better reading on their own so they like to read books rather than come to the class and so it is difficult to uh, to judge but in the looking at the projects and exams they all did quite well except a few and language also has been a bit of barrier in this course because i conducted this course in english and because i was not even familiar with the hindi terminology something that i need to work on 
मेरा हिंदी माय हिंदी इज क्वाइट गुड बट द टर्मिनोलॉजी इज समथिंग दैट यू हैव इज वेरी प्रिसाइज सो आई वाज नॉट वेरी आई आई एम नॉट फेमिलियर विद हिंदी टर्मिनोलॉजी येट सो वन स्टूडेंट फॉर हिम वी हैड टू ट्रांसलेट द एंटायर क्वेश्चन पेपर and i gave them option to the students to write the exam either in hindi or english because these are the only two languages we know so uh, it is so i do not really have very concrete data to to answer your question but anybody who started attending the classes first few classes continued to come to the class throughout that much i can see okay thank you ma'am thank you very much Uh, so Neil Kumar ji, uh, it looks like Geeta ji is having some, uh, you know, some uh, emergency at home. So can you take it up, please, from here? Yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for the uh, questions by the for explorers to uh, Prina Ben Salji and uh, to the students. So they have. A, explored very nicely and they have responded to the questions very nicely um when i i have one more question just to add to what is being discussed that is uh, you said the students who were not attending the classes they do not have sufficient data and one student has uh, read all the, the whole book she also has explored very nicely so what do you think uh, reading the book is sufficient or exploring is required I mean, exploring. I mean, listening to the class <laughs> and exploring is required. What do you think? No, you reading the it? reading the book is then you have information, right? Yeah. Unless you explore and uh, make it part of your life, uh, reading has no meaning. Right? Exactly. So one has to explore. One has to, uh, you know. And the book is such that you have no option. It will happen automatically. it just happens automatically so you have to resist not exploring right ji very true so how was the exploration of that student who read the whole book good so that is what she shared she came to the feedback session and she shared that she had start stopped asking uh, talking to her best friend uh, and after this uh, reading this material then she I called her and now uh, she has resolved all the problems and uh, restored the relationship yeah nice so she's exploring also uh, along with uh, nice. obviously if she wasn't exploring then she won't be telling me all this okay. right nice yeah. thank you thank you so we have one more question uh, by renuka didi renuka didi namaste you can ask your question इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्सिंग uh living this content itself is a challenge ma'am until unless we explore the content make a part of our own living uh, we will not be able to actually um, you know uh, give a clarity on the contents as well uh, so uh, how was your readiness for this you rightly said that uh, between 4 to 6 or 2 hours of uh, your teaching you had to go through the entire you know the contents from morning 5 o'clock and i really understand that and uh, uh, was it really challenging when they ask you particular question uh, there is there any opposition uh, for any of such contents how did you manage this ma'am uh incidentally there was absolutely no opposition i realized that the students are much uh, uh, much more ready to uh, they are very receptive i have sat through some workshops where adults are there and they have much more preconditioning they will quote from gita and ramcharitmanas and 
they'll try to map what you're telling them to uh, these scriptures and their findings I have nothing against this but they have they approach everything and they're trying to map things but in this class i didn't have any such uh, issues uh, so that was very very uh, pleasant uh, no no issues there uh, as far as preparation is concerned, first time I attended this workshop, full-time residential workshop in 2009, March. And you can see that it has been uh, 14 years. It's taken me that long. And I keep going to these workshops are held every semester in IIT Kanpur. And I go there, listen, sit. But I think uh, it, there's just one point when you just... Uh, you say, okay, today I got it. And this is exactly what happened with me that one day I just felt uh, that I'm ready because I look back and see, okay, I've come a long way uh, from where I was 14 years ago and where I am now. And I'm, I'm ready. And, uh, uh, you know, Ganesh Ji says one thing in his uh, workshops. He says that my job is very simple. I just have to make a proposal and say, Verify. So I did exactly the same thing. So anytime somebody says that, you know, this and that, the, the student who's sitting right in front of me, he's, one day he asked me that, let's say I have 100 rupees and the other person doesn't have any money. What do I do? Do I give him 50 rupees? And he said, you understand? I said, actually, I don't understand your question. So I said, we'll have to formulate the question properly. So this maturity I got by listening to the videos. I asked him, why do you have 100 rupees and the other person doesn't have any money? Though then he, so we formulated the problem properly. So I think the confidence came from the fact that I don't have to know everything. I, I was really a co-explorer. So anytime a question came up, uh, I said, okay, I've not thought about it. So let me think about it and I'll come back tomorrow. Or sometimes I ask the class, what do you think? Sometimes I invite Gaurav to answer who politely declined because I was in the center of the, uh, the class. So after that, we will discuss and we'll come back next day. So IIT Kanpur students are actually very, very uh, understanding. Uh, they never judge you based on what uh, if you're not able to answer a question here and a question there and that was perfectly fine they wanted to talk about drug addiction and I said I feel very uncomfortable talking about drug addiction can we talk about cigarettes in instead so I just uh, talked about cigarettes I said you know talking about drugs only makes me very very uncomfortable so this is uh, how, how I handle it that's that's really uh, very nice ma'am uh, probably this will help me in actually you know making up my mind to actually handle such situations thank you ma'am thank you yeah thank you renuka ji for that question and the response from veena ji is very encouraging for all of us um somadhi didi have a question you raise your hand yeah thank uh, thank you for the opportunity bhaiya uh, uh, Veena ji, you have told that half hungry and poverty and you were discussed about that uh, term and uh, whether your students mapped this UHV content along with sustainable development goals, Didi? Uh, so some Hello? students, yeah, hi. So some students explored, uh, you know, nature and the damage we are doing to uh, to the nature. That's what you mean, right? Sustainable development. Yes, yes, Didi. Okay, no, no. You said that half hum hungry, half hungry, poverty. Right. You know, so right, right. Uh, uh, that is why I asked. Um, right. Zero so hunger, yeah. No poverty. Uh, right, right. So no, no. The students explored and they understood that you know development is not possible without right understanding they clearly could see it and they were pleasantly surprised that uh, you know if you don't have the right understanding uh, you will most likely be poor and that obviously the preconditioning yes, was that 
uh, you know, first you need to take care of poverty and then you can talk about right understanding. So, uh, you know, uh, another group who uh, explored cheating and unethical practices in uh, institutional, institution or academic systems, they also said that this course should be made compulsory in schools and colleges and everywhere, everywhere. because, you know, this course doesn't give you any recipe. It just tells you your own participation. And they, in fact, they discovered that students who cheat, you know, first two years are still okay. But by the time they are in third year, they have all kinds of, of other health issues, anxiety and depression, because they don't know anything. And then they are up for placement. And then suddenly, you know, the, the, uh, they are in a very difficult situation. So it became clear that right understanding is the first thing. Everything else will follow. Yes, Devi. Thank you so much, Vinadji. Thank you, Sunil Bhaiya. Yeah. Thank you, Sunil Bhaiya, for that question. Now, we are coming to the uh, close of the meeting. Let us thank uh, Vina Bensal Ji, uh, her students, Apiraj Ji, Tolstoy Ji, and Dr. Kumar Gaurav Ji, Manoranjan Ji, for this enriching sharing uh, with all of us. So this is helping all the teachers who are uh, now participating in this particular meeting. They will share this with their colleagues also. I'm sure about that. And this is going to help us in uh, exploring further and uh, improving our teaching skills and sharing with the students also. Very nice. Thank you so much, Didi. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. It has been an honor and pleasure.